Christy Faust teaches high school science. She'd hoped to teach virtually this year, then discovered that wouldn't be an option. That first day when I came back and I was in my classroom and, you know, imagining what it would look like on campus with a thousand students, and just seeing in my room that I would have 20 students in my room, there's no way to socially distance. She decided to take a one-year unpaid leave of absence instead. It is protest. I am withholding my labor from this. I do not feel that I can contribute my energy or, um, you know, or my labor to what has been decided. The new reality of teaching during a pandemic has led many like her to speak out, even withhold their labor too. Refuse to return groups organized through Facebook are now active around the country. We just all of a sudden went from no hardly any people in our group to almost 10,000 now. Colorado teacher Tracy Campbell spearheaded a car rally in July to help bring attention to the safety worries among teachers. I felt like it was the first time I could really have a voice. There are a variety of concerns. Teachers say there's a lack of personal protective equipment in schools, a lack of good ventilation and cleaning supplies. One particular school district where they have been told our uh, cleaning supplies were not here yet, but here's a piece of legal sized paper you can use to put on their desks when they go to eat. You cannot go. Teachers say they haven't been adequately consulted. Their complaints often ignored. They say the mindset at some school districts going into this school year is full speed ahead. Hearing them talk about how great the first day was when on the other side I'm hearing my colleagues say that they're going to their cars during lunch to go cry. A lot of these teachers are really afraid to speak out. They've been threatened with being fired. They've been threatened if you don't like it, go find something better. Schools say lots of safeguards are in place and many parents join them in arguing that in person rather than virtual education is critical. But at a time when coronavirus cases among children are outpacing the population at large, some teachers say it's time to take a step back. The data is just very clear that it's not good to have that many people in one place at the same time right now. Bottom line is we want schools that are safe for our students, safe for our staff, safe for our communities. And if we aren't doing that, we have to look at things differently. Even if it means voicing their concerns in the streets or sitting out the year.